Just like humans, trees can get stressed too, but when they stress, they fall. Apparently it was a dead tree and just died on top of her car and caused a, caused a lot of damage, unfortunately. Susan Denniston has lived in Glover Park for 34 years. She says this isn't the first time she's witnessed a tree falling in her neighborhood. And occasionally, you know, about every couple of years, you'll look down the street and there'll be a, a tree across the street. Right now, we are standing by this car, which actually was hit by a falling branch. The woman that has this car witnessed it, and as you can see, there are deep cracks in her windshield on top of the car, in the back of the car. It's very damaged, and DC Fire say that nobody was hurt, thankfully. After four consecutive days of 100 plus degree weather and no rain, these conditions are affecting trees all around the district. Just last week, a limb fell and killed a woman who was walking in Garfield Park in southeast D.C. According to Thomas Spencer, owner of the Heart of Wood Tree Services, this could keep happening as the climate changes. Obviously, we're a small speck and we don't know exactly what things are going to do. Hopefully, they're not going to continue the way they have been, I would hope. Spencer says excessive growth in one area of the tree, discoloration of leaves, and holes in the trunk could mean a tree is rotting. The tree has compartmentalized, it has walled off that decay, so the tree continues to grow on the outside and look like a normal tree, but inside, if we had x-ray vision, we would be able to see that the inside it might be hollow. Matthew Morrison, urban forester and arborist with the National Park Service, says nutrients are key for tree health and growth. When there's a lack of rain, soil dries out, and it's hard for the tree to transfer its nutrients. Live Wood, News 4.